Welcome back to another run of Sunless Sea. This time, we're going to be going north. Hopefully, have enough money to pick up some salt at the salt mines and then make this little triple thing before we're bedding back to London. And then I also noticed I had a few secrets, so we'll spend those real quick. Uh, let's do one on the cannoneer to get us to 50. Uh, we've lost one hull. That's not bad for two iron. And then we'll go with her so that we can get some veils with the remaining two secrets. Alright. Now we're off. Yeah, so it looks Hunter's Keep and then a will the Codex. We'll explore here, see if we find anything. Bad Steveners. Abyss. I'll try going down the middle this time, instead of around the left side. Take that little shortcut. chat with one of the sisters. So we'll get our report report. So we start with Cynthia. So let's go with the next one, Lucy. Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidently. A complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in the attic and she, the butler, in the victor's bed. Candles flicker, dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful you've been in months. So we lost quite a bit of terror. We were acquainted with sisters, something has changed. Supplies. The stone's attention, whatever that means. I could give them news, but I'll save that for the next port. And nothing new to explore on the way. Alright, we got out ahead of them. Let's see if we can... We might be able to one-shot with the new weapon. Ay, ay, ay. Not quite. That's a disappointment. Because we spent some good money on that. We don't need supplies, so let's reduce terror. Very nice. Oh, there's another ship. Looking for a fight now. Can I move this logbook? Yeah, if we can get on their backside, it will be an easy fight. Stay behind them. Nice. So we scuttle. And what do we get? Four supplies. That was worth it. I mean, we could run into a situation where our cargo hold is full. Did I get this person? Perhaps you can help a little. I forgot what I'm supposed to do for that person. Do calls have a few pleasure in there? I'm supposed to bring them something, I guess. So I'm trying to get your attention. One of the tomb colonists takes an obvious interest in your crew, specifically the heir. Well, let's 
gather our port report. And then this is just a freebie. The doom colonist draws you a little away from the clendery air. Don't tell her you met me, he says, in a hoarse rasp. Her mother cut my voice. Ho hoped to fix it so I wouldn't be able to look for my daughter. So I wouldn't want to, he wheezes. Didn't work. Operation's never completely effective. Need to know my daughter well. Happy. Finding enough patience. Getting enough to eat and so forth. In exchange for the simplest news, he explains himself. I'm her father, he says. Ordinary engineer. Not the sort of parent she would want. If you wish to tell the heir about this encounter, you can do so by speaking with her. Okay. And no reason to visit the curator, so we'll just explore. Here, Azalea shouts, there's something nestled in the mossy crooks of a gray leaf tree. A wooden serpent lacquered with black, red, and yellow. Its eyes are garnet flakes. That'd fetch a good price at the bazaar, the Zailer observes, but it has a cursory look, points out another. Take it. Take it, but reward the Zailer. Get the general magician. So that's another guy, I guess, that I don't have. We can do a modest challenge. You recognize it. It's an image of the Finger King, a serpent thing that crawls beneath the skin of mirrors. They might be real, they might not, might not. But why take chances? You order the confiscation of all mirrors until journey's end, and explain that'll keep the ship safe. There is some grumbling from those sailors who like to trim their beards, but the measure reassures most of them. Succeeded, gain terror, oh, an outlandish artifact, and the Finger King's, you have a memoir, oh, found a painted serpent. So that will help us at some point. And there's nothing to do. I guess I could sell the recent news, but that seems a little silly. Yeah, so we'll cut down the middle for exploration. Ooh. Just inch our way in. See, I'm not sure how much RNG is involved. So maybe sometimes I can kill him? Yeah, okay. So it's not 100%, but it is possible. Let's reduce that to error. Only one this time. And last time there was a iceberg creature that looked quite powerful that we'll be looking to avoid oh this is undiscovered oh there it is Disco lifeberg let's discover these rocks oh they're not discoverable eh they're just dark like that not happy with us. But we are quickly making our way away. Oh, another one. Oh, the House of the Question. Winter, the House of the Question stands. Here are the initiates of the house make offerings to the three gods of the deep. Perhaps the fourth who is not a god. It's the one place in winter where you can sometimes get a straight answer for a price. Okay, this looks like bad things to do. Let's gather our intelligence. Shore leave. Almost going to succeed. Let's explore the town. It's a quiet, chilly town of gray stone. Have, yeah, same old, same, okay, here we go. Oh, this is the same thing, bet and echo for one of the simpler challenges. I think before we walked away, but we can bet one echo on a small challenge. One of the fishermen is bursting to try, bet and echo. So, a cat shadow, the fisherman grumbles, but pays up. You succeeded in a page's challenge. Yeah, I've gained an echo, cool and fragments 
and oh, we can use these stories, eh? Yeah, so we will hit the top of the map, scout it out. Oh, do I gotta go back there, I guess? Or did it? Yeah. Let's see if it's discovered for me. Yeah. Now if I want to go back there, it's not that important to get this crack. So we'll just turn back to the main. And see how long it takes to find a port. Yeah, we know Codex is right there. I'll take the risk so I can stay in the light because it does reduce terror long term. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh oh. Oh, I thought he was lighting up for a second for some sort of crazy attack. That's Codex, I believe. There must... This must be the Void's approach. The air crackles with frosty radiations. To the north, the false stars fail in the darkness. Yeah, so we're in the next area. And for this to be worthwhile, we've got to find something. Here we go. This looks like our stop. Electric shiver in the air. Storm is watching, the Zailers would say. Yeah, this one's quite far away. We're the Avid Horizon. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to pick up some fuel at some place. It's like a temple. This is the end. Two vast winged shapes guard the gate, something like resin, smooth but uneven. It is deep gant, the color that remains with all other colors that have been eaten. Ice crusts over the crack between its valves. Approach and your breath freezes, falls tingling in shards from the air. It would be utterly foolish to touch the thing. A merciless wind blows from everywhere to everywhere. It passes without effort through your bridge coat, your flesh, your lungs. The dock lies empty. Open the eye gate, complete a certain matter in London. Look at the stars, unlocked with terror, no more than 75. Stars float in the night, the waves watch them a while, gather intelligence. The ice by the gate, there was a whisper about hunting quest and a final revenge. Let's gather intelligence. The stillness is itself of interest to the Admiralty. It is not impossible someone foolish might attempt to open the gate. It is not inconceivable that it might open from the other side. And then what? Your journey here may attract the attention of a certain crimson patron. Return your port report to the Admiralty in London to unlock a new story. So we certainly can't open the gate. Okay, so this is like, am I trading fragments for a hunter's eye? Yes, yes. This is what the rumors meant. A hunter frozen in the ice, hands contorted to claws, mouth agape. With her left hand, she had plucked her own eye from the socket. It lies very close to the surface of the ice. If the stories are true, there's a dark virtue in that eye. Take it, then. But perhaps you should put it in a jar. You now have a hunter's eye in exchange for 77 fragments. Okay. Oh, that's like a one time. And let's look into the stars for fun. All right. 10 terror for one fragment. That sucks. 
These are real stars. They burn above the roof of the neath, beyond the earth, in the spaces of heaven. Even so far away, even now, their eyes are on you. But here in the night, un night under the world, you are safe, safe. You return to your senses, gasping. Your hands are cold, numb. How long were you watching the stars? All right, clearly there's no shops here. So we just go due south, I take it. And hopefully we hit something before the, uh, the salt lines. Yeah, this is much more of a black Z. Oh. And a dock. I'll take it. Chapel of Lights. Oh, that looks nasty. A thousand? No, thank you. Do you hear music? Furtive faithful gather in the shadows between the many, many candles. A bell tolls in the chapel tower. Cracked iron laughter. Beware. This aisle is full of voices. You can eat the chapel's bounty. Smiling priest unlocks the door. So if we need food... It's not a huge need. As long as you have one hunger, it's freebie. Give a nightmare to the well. Well drinks color. This will reduce nightmare strength, but also scar you permanently. That sounds bad. Let's gather intelligence first. A smiling priest in a red cas cassock tends to the chapel. The congregation are shy of light. They come and go in little ships, and it's strangely difficult to count them. Perhaps some of them are imaginary. Still, you know the name of a ship or two. We can attend a service. 100% if we give them five supplies. But let's just take our free food. Lost hunger. They have shark steaks plucked from the sea. Thin slices of cavern tuna, translucent and delicate as paper. Little crimson cakes flavored with cinnamon and coated with poppy seeds. Tomatoes poss impossibly ripe and sweet so far from the surface. Gorge yourself. Leave with the juices dripping from your chin. Alright, that was a success. No shops available. Yeah, just keep going. Straight south. And then we can go off kind of axis in a future run. Oh, we got a... A, uh, what do you call them? A whirlpool, right? Stay well away from that. Be cool to like get like an enemy to like get trapped in there. I don't suppose we'd be able to collect any loot, but it'd be a nice battle. A jellyfish. Not worth our time, though. Uh, but oh, we don't have money, I don't think. So we're not going to be able to... Uh... Uh oh, he's tougher than I thought. Okay, I can probably get the shot off. Wait. Get closer. All right. Yeah, fuel's not looking great. Well, let's let it disperse. Oh, we got a Z story. How many secrets do I got? Doesn't say on there. Let's see if we could explore it anyways, even if we don't have the cash. Oh, we can visit the Unmakers. Let's get our port report. And we need 200. Yeah, 200 only have 62. So I'm gonna have to save that money leaving London. 
Yeah, muscular pick wielders rest on camp stools, watching you approach, passing hip flasks around. The uncutuous overseer beckons you to sit. We get funding from the bazaar, it's true, but station four? Ivy? I think? I wouldn't call it station four. It's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statu statuary or occult basalt. Most of them. So go down to the places under the bazaar. More teacups? Okay, we've lost some terror and gained one fragment. And they don't have anything either for me. So with three fuel, well, I don't really have a choice but to continue on my way at this point. So we'll go this side so we discover a little bit. But we have tons of supplies, and I believe we can convert supplies to fuel if we do run out at a not very worthwhile rate. Ooh, this could give us some fuel. And we're at full health, so we should be able to take them. So we'll approach on their backside, so hopefully they won't be able to hit us. Just a turning game got nothing on us. Loot and scuttle. Supply, oh, just one supply, one fuel, that's kind of meh. Oh, but we get the, the, uh, the cash, which contains one firkin of prisoner's honey. This is what they call prisoner's honey, wrung by the lamplighter bee from the exile's rose. I wonder who made up all these names. Members Abel Seaman Cargret. Someone who has read a sight too many books, I'm thinking. Okay, it's not worthless. That's good. Let's dip in over here for a little bit. Alright, now we can just head direct. Oh, what? Down here there's something? Yeah, I mean, you'll go down hard, man. Probably two-shot him. Just give me some fuel. Bolt of spider silks. I mean, we certainly have lots of cool cargo now. That we have to survive back to London is our problem. Okay, they sell fuel, that's good. So we'll pick up some. Get our, where's the port? Oh, oh this is the sigil ridden guy. I, I don't want to waste money on him. Rest of the Z. Ca oh, two casks of mushroom wine. Port report. Tentacles. Picnic. Tales of the Standing Stones. Tales of the Croft. One that isn't bridged. Sure. The wrong kind of people. The ones that farm up there, they're us. Me and you. All the other versions of us. One with a trick leg. One with that married his cousin. One that was buried alive. Characters out of another history. They're waiting up there and plotting, gathering allies, waiting to make their history ours. So don't go there. You won't find them anyways, be being they hides in the barn. All right, how much should we get? At 20. As much as we can carry, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna cut short. I think it's too risky to go to Mutton Island. Yeah, we're not going to be doing any wide paths. I 
right there. Abbey Rock. There's a jelly. Alright, let's gather our port report right there. Uh, trade supplies. I don't need supplies. Oh, wait. Oh, they'll give us echoes for supplies. I have recent news. Uh, they gave us 10 echoes for that last time. That just seems worthless. Yeah, we can. That's a very small detour. All right. And there's actually, I don't think there's anything I can do here other than buy fuel. Yeah, go away. But I'll check. Home water. Sailors to waddle up the rail, watching for the lights of London. Oh, I can speak to the crew. Let's see what they give me. In the bleaching glare of the lens, among the smells of oil and metal, you sip tea and chat. Disease terror recedes. Okay, we lose terror, we get, and then we get a Z story. So we'll have to see what the Z story is worth in London. See what kind of value that actually has. This guy, if I want to click on him. So I'll probably look at him after I do all my good stuff. Admiralty, of course. Oh, let's... Oh, did I not ask him what he needs last time? I didn't, did I? So let's submit these port reports. This I need veils. Let's have a chat. What do you need? Visit a port, port report, move pay well, worry, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I mean. Unless he already told me. Mm-hmm. Guess that's it. Sell to the scholar. An outlandish artifact. We have something like that, she he declares, but not very like that. Interesting. I have some ideas about suitable fees. 100 echoes. And I've increased my favor. Any more of those? No. Oh, the Z story. It is worth 10 echoes, but it gains me favor too, so it's actually better. To just use these here. Cool. Oh, Mr. Sachs. What's this? Midnight. A presence dominates front your lodgings. Its fur-trimmed robe is the red of blood on snow. Over your chair hangs a familiar brown sack, bulging with offerings. Londoners give generously to the crimson beast of winter. Anything to be rid of it. The figure stares into the fireplace, smelling of soft musk and harsh ammonia. I require a sturdy vessel and a captain. Yours comes recommended. You will suffice. Mr. Sachs, take my service. An ancient contract. Words will not be spoken lightly. 
You may wish to wait until you have explored the main trading ports around London before doing this. Okay, Mr. Sachs, take your leave. You will not be intimidated by your own logic. There is no penalty for this. You will be able to accept this contract at a later time. Yeah, so let's just navigate away. And where's the stabby guy? He went away. And the lodgings. I'll read the morning papers. Echo Bazaar. Marketplace to increase the tax and love store. Okay, that's an old one. And my terror is slightly increasing. But I think this is just a, a very minor boost. Just one terror for ten. It's not really worth it. Unless you're really rolling in it. Rose markets. I don't have unread logs or extraordinary implications. Do I have the um? It's not the that's that's the the sail place. Where's the um? Basically the shipyard, sort of. Not exactly. The docks. H how does one get there? The dry dock. Or is it just like it doesn't show up because I'm not damaged enough? Turn the wolf check docks. Rose market. Hire more crew. Okay, here's the options. So at this point, I figure we have a 100% ch chance of getting crew. And it's 30. Why not? Succeeded. Your tall tales find a rowdy audience. Scarred and seasoned men and women tramp aboard and find places to sling hammocks. You've gained three crew. So a total of 11, so I guess they just... The last one just gets discarded. I also lost terror. So hopefully that will be a positive. They don't just start eating all the food. So dry dock. Ah, it's probably not worth paying for. Uh, we have to buy fuel. Tens, good rate. Supplies are good. Unfortunately, we're not going to have the money to buy something from the salt lines. Oh, wait. Oh, that was dumb. I had that fuel already because of all my missions. Ugh. So anyways, after kind of screwing that up, I'm going to try to... Oh, I wait. I actually... I have stuff to sell in the shops. I might well make it back above 200. Prisoner honey. And spider silk. Awesome. Alright, so it looks like that's that's all I can really work with. And so I have come back from the brink there. So I'll probably be doing a salt lion run in the next one. So catch y'all then.